Boom, boom, thunder cloud here at the Australian Pine Tree Hall of Fame, washing away the garbage, leaving rainbows after rain. Today I'm going to recite for you Banjo Patterson's bush poem and verse, The Man from Ironbark. Now there's a bit of conjecture as to which Ironbark he might have been talking about. Was it the Iron Bark, the suburb of Bendigo, the Iron Bark, the suburb just north of Ipswich in Queensland, was it Iron Bark, just a little bit west of Gyra, a little bit west of Bandara, up this way. I have a feeling it was that particular one because if he's gone down to Sydney to do the Sydney Toff, and he's probably not travelled all the way from Ipswich where he could have got a haircut or Bendigo where he could have got a haircut. No, he's come from the bush, just west of Gaira here, the little locale of Ironbark. And this is The Man from Ironbark by Banjo Patterson. It was the man from Ironbark who struck the Sydney town. He wandered over street and park, he wandered up and down. He loitered here, he loitered there, till he was like to drop, until at last in sheer despair he sought a barber's shop. Here, shave me beard and whiskers off. I'll be a man of mark. I'll go and do the Sydney tile far home in Ironbark. The barber man was small and flash, as barbers mostly are. He wore a strike your fancy sash and smoked a huge cigar. He was a humorist of note and keen at repartee, yet he laid the odds and kept a tote, whatever that may be. And when he saw our friend arrive, he whispered, Here's a lark. Just watch me. Catch him all alive. This man from Ironbark. There were some gilded youths that sat along the barber's wall. Their eyes were dull, their heads were flat, they had no brains at all. To them, the barber passed a wink, his dexter eyelid sharp. I'll make this bloomin' yokel think his bloomin' throat was cut. As he soaked and rubbed it in, he made a rude remark. Oh, I suppose the flats is pretty green up there in Iron Bark. A grunt reply was all he got. He shaved the bushman's chin. Then he made the water boiling hot and dipped the razor in. He raised his hand, his brow grew black. He paused a while to gloat. Then he slashed the red-hot razor back across the victim's throat. Upon the newly shaven skin it left a livid mark. No doubt it fairly took him in, the man from Ironbark. He fetched a wild up country yell might wake the dead to hear, and though his throat he knew full well was cut from ear to ear, he struggled gamely to his feet and faced his murderous throw. You have done for me, you dog. I'm beat one hit before I go. I only wish I had a knife, you blessed murdering shark. But you'll remember all your life, this man from Ironbark. He lifted up his hairy pawn with one tremendous clout. He landed on the barber's jaw and he knocked the barber out. He set to work with tooth and nail. He made the place a wreck. He grabbed the nearest gildest youth and tried to break his neck. And all the while his throat he held to save his vital spark. And murder, bloody murder, yelled the man from Iron Bar. A peeler man, who heard the din, came in to see the show. He tried to run the bushman in, but he refused to go. And when at last the barber spoke and said, "'Twas all in fun, "'twas just a little harmless joke, "'a trifle overdone." "'A joke?' he cried. "'By George, that's fine, a lively sort of lark. 
I'd like to catch that murdering swine some 99 bark. And now, while round the shearing floor the listening shearers gape, he tells the story over and over and brags of his escape. Then barber chaps, what keeps a tote? By George, I've had enough. One tried to cut me bloomin' throat, but thank the Lord it's tough. And whether he's believed or no, there's one thing to remark, that flowing beards is all a go, way up in Iron Bark. And that was the man from Iron Bark by Banjo Patterson. And yeah, by the sound of it, you know, way up in Iron Bark, and it's definitely, you know, in the bush, probably just west of Guy around here. All right, I'm Thundercloud. If you like that, give it a thumbs up, write something in the comments, and also click on the little bells to stay notified of any more uploads that I'm about to, as I do them. All right, I'll see you later.